uh, comprised by uh, two uh, M files. It has been written. The simple it, the code is code is available online. You can download it for yourself, and uh, you can uh, just uh, change it to the desired solution you want to obtain. Uh, to, to, uh, and change it regarding to to your pr own problem. So the first one is the main uh, code, which is going to uh, to follow all we have said all instructions. We have told how particle swarm optimization is going to work. It's going to follow that. Uh, and the next one is the fitness function or the objective function as we told you are going to define even if you have some uh, the main function of yourself which is objective function and even if you have some constraints you can add here to be addressed uh, and uh, you can even uh, have some define some other variables here and so on but the main thing is happening, the main uh, optimization is happening here. This is the velocity, uh, this is the main formula, update formula I mentioned later in PowerPoint for you, uh, which particle swarm optimization is going to work through, is going to update the uh, position of uh, particles uh, regarding this uh, formula, which is obeyed by the uh, physical rules as we told so <coughs> you should consider that uh, these three are uh, are if you desire you can change it no problem uh, it starts mainly from here by parameter setting which means that if you uh, your regarding your problem you should set the parameter so first of all is the number of variables how many variables your uh, uh, your problem has so here we are consider what is our problem is to um, see of optimization of uh, uh, to minimize the results for something like this formula sum of x to the power of 2 uh, we have selected by ourselves um, here the number of variables going to be 15 which means that it's going to be somehow like this uh, or let me write here for you in the fitness function Th this function is going to be like this y equals to x1 to the power of 2 plus sorry plus x2 to the power of 2 plus and so on plus x15 to the power of 2 so so this is uh, th this is the main function we are going to be address here and the main function which is going to be addressed here is this we want we want to minimize this <coughs> so initially and you easily you can know that what is the answer for minimization of such a thing when all of the elements are to the power of sorry are all the elements are uh, are to the power of two which means that the minimum uh, value it can obtain is uh, uh, is zero so the best solution would be when all the, the minimum solution it would obtain when all the variables all 15 variables here be zero so uh, but I we want to see that how algorithm is going to find this solution so this is the uh, we can even define if you change the number of variables it means if you can uh, change it to 10 or even uh, even any number you want um, this the, the fitness function will change by changing the variable number so <coughs> so uh, the next part after uh, defining the variables uh, the, the number of variables is to clarifying the bounds 
of your variable so the lower bound and the upper bound are two main elements in uh, uh, in PSO algorithm which you are going to specify that and which is uh, making clear your search space so uh, this means the lower bound wants uh, and where you, if I run this program for you you can see that you know you are familiar with one's function which makes a matrix with number of rows and number of columns the number of columns is 15 so the variable is going to be 0 multiplied by a 1 matrix and it has 15 elements you see and upper one is 1 multiplied by 1's ones will again introduce uh, a matrix uh, uh, which is all the elements are 1 and multiplied by 1 again so you can see this is the upper bound so what does it mean can you explain what does it mean and now if we define this now what what we have defined can you say change so this these two are our search space specify our search space which means that the algorithm will go through these the, the, uh, these two uh, the, the numbers between 0 and 1 for all 15 variables the, it will change and it will find the optimal and the minimum one as soon as possible and uh, then we are going to find the number of particles and the even we will uh, the number of iteration is important for us so if you want to somehow uh, uh, want to uh, s want to keep in mind that how it works the number of population uh, is so important which uh, c uh, to be considered uh, which means that the particles uh, between the uh, a specified bound are going to find the optimal solution and how many iteration these populations are going to find the optimal solution is again going to be uh, going to work with uh, maximum iteration uh, you are also familiar with C1 and C2 are the two variables we uh, which are mainly de uh, devoted to the as you can see here are the uh, factors related to p best personal base and global best so these are uh, familiar with you but w is a weight factor which is going to be specified for the velocity uh, even uh, we have added here if you wish to see the main uh, formula of updating uh, population so uh, this is going to be like this uh, W is multiplied by the current velocity C1 is going to be multiplied by the particle best and C2 is going to be multiplied by uh, the, the distance of current position by global best so C1 and C2 and W are the uh, f main factors which are going to be used in uh, our formula uh, so another formula is usually it is common to be defined here is alpha which is a decreasing rate uh, multiplied at each iteration by if you can see here by w it decreases the w which mainly leads to obtain a unique solution after uh, a number of a specific uh, iterations so it is usually a decimal which which means a one percent or two percent or up to five percent uh, it, uh, it is going to be set like this and it is going to decrease the uh, number of 
uh, uh, the, the amount of uh, the weight which is a factor for uh, velocity.